Imagine if one of the secrets to itch-free skin was hiding in the kitchen. Ready to uncover it? Stick around. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's your guru for all things psoriasis. Today, we dive into the real issues that affect psoriasis as well as health and well-being. Today's mantra, food messes with our skin. Optimal digestion is where it all begins. Let's address the elephant in the room. The food industry might make processed foods look all fun and games and taste so amazing, but there's a hidden price to pay, not just for our waistline, but our skin and gut as well. Here's the thing. If we peek into most grocery carts, we'll see packets of chips, candy, sugary drinks, processed foods, what we commonly call the standard American diet. And those processed foods cause inflammation. Think of it as our body's alarm system going into overdrive. The result? Rash and discomfort because psoriasis, it's a disease of inflammation. So let's debunk a myth. A little junk food won't hurt. Reality? Every bite, every sip might be adding to skin and gut troubles. That sugary donut isn't just calories, it's inflammation in disguise. Ever wondered why it's so hard to resist these foods? Number one, cultural conditioning. Food isn't just about sustenance. It's celebration, it's ritual. But when that ritual involves heaps of sugar and bad oils, that's a problem. The celebrations always need sugar-loaded cakes, you know? Instead, next time, why not try fruit-based desserts? Not only can they be tasty, but your skin will thank you. Second, advertisements are everywhere. The ads we see aren't selling food. They're selling happiness, bonding, and love. But at what cost to our health? A good tip here is to limit exposure. Less TV, more outdoor activities, replace ads with nature. Number three, Societal norms. Now, ever been labeled too health conscious or diet freak? Eating healthy is often seen as boring. Society's got a skewed image of what normal eating is. Number four, lack of awareness. Many are really waking up to the importance of diet, but the direct link between food and skin, that's still under the radar for most people. Number five, convenience over our health. In today's fast-paced world, grabbing a burger out is quicker than making a nutritious meal. But the cost? Your skin and gut health. An actionable tip is to meal prep. A Sunday afternoon can ensure healthy meals all week. That's something which really helps me stay on track. Is it something that I'm like, oh, yay, I can't wait to do? No, but I'm grateful that I did it. And the aftermath of this whole dietary onslaught isn't just an unhappy gut, but distressed skin. If the skin's flaring up red and itchy, then food choices might be the culprit. And if you've been nodding along thinking, that's me, here's the thing, it's not your fault. It's the world we've grown up in. But knowing better means we can do better. I have a framework called the 3C Skin Saving Method that teaches what foods are supportive to the body and which aren't, plus how to implement these changes successfully and still enjoy your life. Let's get back to the basics and focus on unprocessed foods, fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole foods that nourish both our gut and skin. Knowledge is power. Stay updated, adapt, and listen to your body. Now, if you're thinking, this sounds great, but where do I start? I've got your back. We can dive deeper with the three-day jumpstart, and let's embark on this journey to radiant skin and optimal health together. The journey to happier skin starts with a single informed choice. Make yours today. Thanks for watching. I'm Dana Rovath with Fountain Mills Functional Wellness, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.